Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a very exciting day. Today is gonna be lesson number seven. And today I wanna talk about safety. So I wanna show you very neat future in Universal Robot. And future if you don't have a sensor or if you don't have a sensor yet, uh, you can use this future to create a safety boundary. To do that, today we're gonna use a point or also people call that a future point. And future point is simply point which is gonna tell the robot where this location is, where this boundary will be based on the point we create. And something interesting you should know before we start is if we have a point, the point will be perpendicular on the, I believe it's a Z axis. So basically if that's our Z axis going down the point we create will be perpendicular. And if you guys don't understand what I'm saying yet, it's gonna be very clear once I show you how to do that, but that's how it's gonna be. So if you see the point right here, it's gonna be perpendicular. For example, if we set up this point, our safety plane created will cut our robot right there. It's gonna be like that. So what I wanna show you today is gonna to be Move it back a little bit. What I want to create today, it's gonna be a, if that's our home, and we, for example, work in front of the robot, and uh, on both sides we either have cables or or another equipment, and we don't want the robot to go there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a safety plane using a point on this side. I will create one on this side, and then. For example, the ceiling is gonna be wall where we're using it. Then I'm gonna create one going on top of it. So let's get on it. Let's see how we're gonna do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, into installation. And then we're gonna go into futures. And here I already create these two points, but I'm gonna delete them. But basically that's how it's gonna look. You can see one point on the left side and it's gonna be one on the right side, but let's delete them very quick. So now you get here and that's what you see. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click a point and then you wanna set this point. Now, we said we wanted for them to be 180 from each other, which means 90 degree from the road. So you can see the base, we're gonna use the base. We're not gonna use the TCP point position and the TCP orientation because this is gonna um, move more than one joint and we want to keep it nice and clean so what we're going to do is we're going to just rotate the base like you saw we were at zero degree so we want to be at 90 degree or in this case minus 90 Let's see. Oh. i think that's uh, they're very picky so we have to be very nice with it, but let's get as close as we can get. Let's let's say that's good. Now, don't don't click it yet. Don't set it yet because what is going to happen here is you remember the z-axis. It's going to cut our robot here. So what we want to do is we want to leave this point. So if you guys remember from lesson number two, I believe was the or lesson number one. This is going to be the wrist one. So we want to. Rotate this one. Let's see if it's the right direction. Yeah. And leave the plane. So if you imagine the plane will go and we want it to be straight. So let's do that. A little more. There you go. What do you guys think? Pretty straight here? Maybe come a little back that's too much
I think that's It's pretty close. I feel like it's a little upwards, but okay. Let's say that's okay. Now we what we just did is we create our first point. Now we want to create our second point. What we're gonna do here is we just wanna transfer this point from this side which is from here 180 degree we're gonna go set point and then we'll just play with the base and then from minus 90 to go 180 degree we have to go to yes you're right 90 degree almost there Oh, little pass. Yeah, they're quite sensitive. Oh, I'm happy with this one. Okay. Now we create our two points, and now what we want to do is we want to create the third point. To do that is we want to create another point, and it's going to be the top. We're going to set this point. From here, we want to go back to zero just to have like a reference point a little pass well, actually no a little more actually too much yeah you have to have patience to play with that sometimes Okay, I would say that's a win. Now what we want to do is we want to go up. To do that is we want to move this elbow. Oh, the other way. And to be able to see it, we can play a little bit with that. Go here to the side. Okay. A little more. Just it, let's put it the other way. Okay, I like that. Okay, so now we create our three points. So you can see that's number three, that's number two, and that's number one. So what I want to do is to be more clear, I want to go home. Move to home. You guys remember, we just have to hold it. And we are there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in installation we're gonna go to safety and in safety tabs we want to go to planes so now the first thing you want to do is we need to unlock it so once you change safety always you're gonna they will, will ask you for your password and this is just in case so not everybody you know go in change it that's why it's nice having your password so you know everything is good and people will not play there and once you go, go in you can add the plane and then we can see plane one we're gonna give plane one the point one and there you go our first safety boundary or safety plane is here so now this plane is here we have a couple options. What we can do is we can disa disable. 
we don't want to do that obviously we want to be uh, we're gonna use normal uh, which mean if the robot is in normal mode it's not gonna be able to pass that safety plane will stop the second one is if our robot is in reduce mode it's not gonna be able to move it pass that plane the third option is both either if it's normal or reduce mode the robot not gonna be able to go by to go through and the second one is actually trigger the reduce mode so we are in normal mode moving once we go into this area for example it's not we're not gonna restrict it not to go there but maybe just when you go there just be caution and go slow till you get out of it so in our case we're gonna do both so normal or reduce we want to um, activate the protective stop then we're gonna add our second plane we're gonna assign point two for our second plane which is gonna be to the right we want both and then we're gonna add our third plane which you guys remember will be on the top and then we're gonna assign number three remember guys we talked that's gonna be the ceiling for example we don't want our robot to go there both and also here you can restrict the elbow like you can see there is gonna be a safety sphere around the elbow so even if the elbow hits one of the zones, this will um, activate the protective stop. And then also you can move a little bit the planes and you can see right here to the displacement. You can move them from minus 5000 to plus 5000 millimeters. And if you guys measure this uh, in inches, just remember one inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters. So you can measure in inches that then multiply by 25.4 and then you will know what to insert here for example we can say 85 you can see how we moved it away then we're gonna say here 85 there you go and now once everything is set and let's say here we're gonna leave, leave it there and now let's say if you want to you want to see where they are well you simply can see it right here with the eyes and you can add them all three and like you can see we kind of create this like a box place where the road can work and it's safe here people maybe people comes and you want to show them what you did and what the robot does well they're gonna be safe as long as they they're right here the robot is not gonna even touch them because we'll stop before that now once everything is set up we simply can walk it up we need to apply and restart then we need to confirm these settings and voila that's it we're safe we saved the we changed the safety settings you can see right here and now we are all set but here i want to talk about i start talk about the elbow and the, the sphere here so in this case the case we are right now what is going to happen is and i want to show you the robot will stop once it get gets to the to the TCP. Once it gets to the TCP, the point, the robot will stop. But if you guys remember, this is the two center point. And if we have our gripper, for example, and that's our piece, and we grab it, the TCP is right here. But depends of how tall is our material. If that's our safety plane and we moved we actually will stop where we are at the TCP and our end of the piece whenever wonk it is is gonna go by past the safety and but we said we don't want you to go past we want you to stop right here well there is a way we can set this up and I will show you right now how to do that so to do that we're gonna create another sphere which will look like that but we're gonna create it around the TCP so to do that you just have to go to the tool position and then here like you can see I already create this sphere around the TCP but I'm gonna go and delete it and show you how you do that of course you need your password again you want to delete that so now you're here and you want to set 
right now you can see by default you can see the tool flange and you can see the little yellow dot right here because you guys remember from the previous lesson that's the tool flange where you attach the gripper or uh, different tools I want to say I gonna add the tool and I want this feature to be based on the TCP so now you see that's where the robot will stop right here where the TCP is and now we can create a to safety sphere around this TCP so can go around and protect my piece so it depends of what kind of piece you're moving you can of course measure it to be more precise but for learning purposes we will say 125 and again it's in millimeters um, like like here you can see they give us a range from 0 to 300 and that's how 125 looks but if you want to go to 300, that's how 300 will look. I think that's plenty if you guys ask me. Or you can go to 25, which is right here. So just because I like the 125 kind of weird in the middle and really good shows you the profile, we're going to keep it there. And then we're just going to click apply. And again, we have to apply and restart. We need to confirm. And then of course we're all done. Don't forget to power your robot again because now it's gonna be the fun part. I wanna show you what will happen if you get into the protective stuff, for example. Let's say we're gonna go forward. We're gonna go the other way. I always messed up these ways. Okay. So we're gonna come even more forward. And then we're gonna start going to the side. So now you guys can see once we get close to it, it's gonna show up here in the software. And if we continue going, it's gonna it's gonna activate the protective stop telling her telling us the position is too close to the safety plane please and you can see the little arrow telling us please go back that's no no zone so that's how you guys know and the same will happen if you go the other way or if you go up no no you have to go back Let's go back. Let's go home. Well, that's for today, guys. I hope that was very help helpful lesson for you and you can use it in your application. And like you can see, there is many ways you can, you can use safety boundaries. You can trigger a stop, you can you can stop the robot in general um, and it's, it's I think it's, it's very neat very good future uh, add to the safety to the robot a lot and even if you don't have yet a safety sensor uh, who is gonna you know be looking for for people or obstacles all the time you can use that and preset based on your application well thank you for watching guys we'll be shortly coming back with lesson number eight and I don't want to tell you what it is it's going to be a surprise but I definitely is going to be something fun please if you guys have any questions please comment below let me know and if you guys like the the videos so far please subscribe to the channel or share with your friend who is interested in robotics and especially in in universal robot and wants wants to learn more about how to how to do that especially in times like that the roads are getting more and more involved, so it's a good skill to know. And just smash the like button. Thank you very much, guys, for your time today. And you guys stick with me till the end. And I will see you in lesson number eight.